Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. Today, we are going to look at Dependency Inversion Principle. This principle states that high-level modules should not depend on low-level modules. Both should depend on a common abstraction layer. Let us see it in action. Let us assume an employment profile. We will have a manager and a developer. Here, manager class is going to manage the work details of all other job profiles. For now, I have only developer here. Let us assume that this class is very complex. The developer class has a method called work, which correlates to the work done by the developer. Let us introduce another class called architect. And I'm going to have the same method here. Now, in order to manage this architect, the manager class has to go through a series of logical changes. And some of the current functionalities will be affected. And after that, you also need to test this again to make sure nothing is broken, etc. This will take a lot of time to solve, especially if some bugs get introduced. A better way to fix this would be to introduce an abstraction layer and let the manager and other modules depend upon this abstraction. Let us fix this by using the dependency inversion principle. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to create an interface as employee and let the developer implement the employee interface and the architect implement the employee interface. And now let's inject this dependency into the manager through a setter. You could see here the previous implementation of the developer. Now let's inject this interface here. Okay, so in future, if you add a team leader class or a database administrator class, it would not affect the existing logic and it would be very easy to test. Now, do you understand the importance of a dependency inversion principle? In my next video, let's see the importance of interface segregation principle. Thank you.